Hey guys, welcome to Reddit Brew. Today, I will be reading from the r slash entitled people subreddit. So let's jump into it. Bitch aunt gets what she deserved. Nothing. I had a good uncle who was about the nicest, most decent person I knew. Unfortunately, he married a bitch who was, well, a bitch. She openly ridiculed my uncle at family get-togethers because he didn't make enough money, he had started a commercial office cleaning business, and seemed to be doing well. Wasn't manly enough? Whatever. She rarely had kind words for anyone in the family. She was also prone to just up and leave my uncle and their kids and drive about 800 miles away to stay with her family when she got mad about something. She would do this often and be gone for weeks at a time. Well, my uncle got Lou Gehrig's disease and his physical abilities began deteriorating. And that was it for BA. She packed and left my uncle for good. He had to sell his business and move back to the area where his mother and my own family lived. They set him up in a nice little house with a personal assistant who came in daily to take care of him, drive him to doctor's appointments, etc. Plus, he was within a few minutes from my grandma and my family. The only bright side of this story is that my uncle and his assistant eventually fell in love, got married, and my uncle finally had the loving partner he deserved until the day he passed away. Fast forward a few years to my grandma's funeral service, and who should show up but B.A. It was a shock. No one had heard from her since she deserted my uncle. She hadn't even come to his funeral. There were no dramatics though, just cordialties. At the service, everyone in the family agreed to meet the next day at my grandma's house to catch up and talk about the disposition of her estate, which was meager at best. I was about 18 at the time, and my mom was the executor of the estate. And who should walk in but bitch aunt? Everyone seemed surprised. Like, who invited her? While they were talking, I noticed that BA would get up and walk around for a few minutes and come back. This happened about three times. Finally, she said, If there's anything you guys don't want to keep or sell, I'll take it. Everyone was momentarily stunned at this. My mom eventually said something to the effect that the estate had to go through probate before she could dispense anything, which was a lie. B.A. replied, Really? Because I can take any furniture or appliances or whatever nobody else wants. I brought a trailer. That's right. The bitch had rented a U-Haul and pulled it on about a 12-hour drive. She had hooked it up to her car at her hotel and brought it to the meeting, I guess, because men were there who could help load it up. My mom just reiterated the lie about probate and angry aunt left soon after. My family isn't the type to be confrontational, but after she was gone, everyone just exploded about her greediness, expecting to take home family items after the way she deserted my uncle and rejected our entire family. Later, everyone picked out heirlooms and other items to take home. I got about a dozen of my grandma's hand-stitched quilts, and we laughed about how angry she must have been after the cost and trouble of renting a U-Haul, pulling it on a 24-hour round trip, and returning it empty. I have an idea to get a truck and just ask people for shit they don't need. Oh wait, that's a garbage man. You should have given her trash in a bag as the things no one wanted. I totally agree, except for the fact that you can sometimes make money off garbage. So I'd just fill a garbage bag full of shit and give it to her, saying this is all she deserves. Like, jeez, how does a nice man end up with a wretched woman like this? Maybe she put on a facade until they got married so she could trap him? Who knows? But I'm glad the uncle got to live the remainder of his life in happiness, and entitled aunt didn't get away with anything. But anyways, that is all from me today. I hope you enjoyed that Entitled People story. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I truly appreciate when you do. And I will see you in the next Reddit story. Bye!